Hi, welcome to this um, video shorts uh, for exam 7410. Uh, these video shorts are designed to cover key areas of your Microsoft certification exams. Uh, this video uh, is about printer scheduling. So, by default, if you create a printer and share that printer out, it is available 24 seven. So as long as you've got permissions to access that shared printer, you could submit jobs and then your job will be placed in a queue and then printed almost straight away or at the appropriate time. What we can do is change the uh, printing times or the availability times of a printer so that we can say a printer is only available from 1 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. So that any bulky jobs, any, any jobs that people don't necessarily need straight away can be placed in the nighttime print queues. They'll be printed then based on the scheduled times and the next day people can pick up those jobs. Uh, in particular, if you've got offices where a single print device or a group of print devices have been used for both urgent and non-urgent jobs, printer scheduling can really help with that. So let's take a look at my print server and let's have a look at uh, the areas or look at the tabs and PowerShell commands we can use to uh, work with printer scheduling. So here we are on our print server. If I use server manager and go to tools, I'll be able to access the print management uh, snapping. Here we can see a list of our print servers that we've connected to and, and the printers that are installed on those print servers. And here my print server DC1, I've got a printer called sales that we're going to be working with. So if I got the properties of the sales printer and go to advanced, this is where we can configure the printer scheduling options. Now by default, printers are always available. So 24 seven, you can su uh, submit jobs and they'll be printed out um, as long as you've got permissions to, to connect to the printer in the first place. But what we can also do is uh, say that the printer is available from. So instead, it's available, instead of saying it's available 24 seven, I can say this printer is only available from, let's say 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. So just have a single hour. Um, so probably massively unrealistic for a production printer, but to keep the sort of math simple and numbers simple, we'll say this printer is only available for this one hour. Now, as we said previously, printer scheduling is all about making sure that big bulky jobs are not sent to uh, printers during the day. Uh, if you've got a big bulky job that you don't need straight away, you can send it to this sales printer, this nighttime printer, uh, where it'll be printed out between these times. Um, any jobs still waiting in the queue at 2 a.m. to be printed uh, would be stopped from being printed uh, at 1 to 2 a.m. and would be printed out the next day. Now, we can see quite clearly there, printing from, printing to, uh, print until 2 a.m. If we look in uh, PowerShell and use the commandlet get printer and the name of the printer and I'll just say uh, format list so we can view extended information um, and to show the information in a format that's quite user friendly. So um, with this command that we can see lots of details about the sales printer. Uh, what we're interested in is towards the bottom of this list, we've got the start time and until time. So start time there 60 until time 120. So when you set up printer scheduling, and you view information through PowerShell, we don't see times like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and so on. We see a number of minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes. Now these minutes are from midnight. So from midnight, this printer will be available 60 minutes later, so 1 a.m. And it will print until, from midnight, 120 minutes. So from midnight, if you had 120 minutes, that's 2 a.m. So between those times, between 60, 1 a.m. and 120, 2 a.m., this printer um, is available. Now, if I change, if I go back to um, the GUI and I change the to time to 3 a.m., then uh, back in PowerShell, we should see a change to the details here. So if we were the same command, get printer sales, so now the start time remains the same, 60. So from midnight, you add 60 minutes and that's when the printer is, is uh, available. And it will print until from midnight, 180. So three hours. 
so uh, so so we got to look at that for midnight and say well three hours later is it's 3 a.m so it's prints from one till three now it's these sort of timers that you'll be expected to decipher um in your mcsa exams in particular the 74 uh, 10 exam that covers the printing section um it's nice and easy when we get um, all all hours like this but what you might also find if we go back to the sales and say print from 1 till 3.40 and then look at information so um, often you'll be given figures that don't quite match up to, to on the hour so here start from, from 12 start printing 60 minutes later until from 12 220 minutes later so 3.40 and what you'd have to do is, is work out the maths there to figure out exactly when that, that printer is going to stop printing um, and it's no longer available. Look out for more video shorts on the MCSA Server 2012 R2 topics. Um, also, feel free to check out my blog for more technical information on Microsoft certification and Cisco certification, uh, www.mgbleads.co.uk.